move all the way. You see the memes. Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. Playing Kingdom Hearts as an action RPG. No. Playing Kingdom Hearts as a rhythm game. Yes, says Roxas. Okay. So, yeah, this is going to be the Nintendo Mini Direct reaction I'm going to be doing. I already know Kingdom Hearts was shown because it's been all over the place. I don't know what the hell the indie games are or whatever the hell else they're announcing. I actually need to put my headphones on because I didn't even think about it. My headphones aren't on. That's where my sound goes to. I already know about Kingdom Hearts. Like I said, I already know about this one. It's a dead giveaway because of some of the Kingdom Hearts YouTubers I watch. Um, shout out to H2K. Shout out to the Gamers Journal Cynical. You guys ruined it for me. Thank you. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I actually want to collab with those guys at some point, if that ever happens, whatever, but, so, let's go ahead and get into this, I want to see what else Nintendo has for this little mini direct, here for August of 2020, so, um, let's come in, show. shit, volume's down, please note due to COVID-19 release dates and other information presented in this video subject to change. For potential updates, please check the official Nintendo website and social media channels, as well as those of other publishers. We would like to express our heartfelt support for all these affected by the coronavirus. Um, part of this you guys need to know, if you can't find a Switch anywhere, it's hard to find a PS4. It's hard to find, not Xboxes really, because Xboxes are mass produced in here in America. But getting them across seas might be an issue for other, com or other countries and stuff like that. It has been a little bit of an issue on our end on America, but I see more Xboxes than I do the other two. And for reasons about that, because I also work for GameStop, so you got a little bit of insider on this. Not really an insider, but Nintendo actually came out and said it. They said like some of their parts come from China. So that's the biggest reason why you see not too much stuff coming in for the Switch. Might be the same thing for Sony. I don't know. Sony doesn't really tell anybody anything, but that could be a part of that factor. So just give you a little fun tip on that as everything with covid is keeping people at home video games on the rise but I turn that down that was a lot of shit but demands on the high but the supplying like Hi everyone the supply is on the low but the demands high mini partner showcase Today, like how normal business works. Delivering the latest information about upcoming Nintendo Switch games that, if you learned about that and, like never yeah before. and this is the first thing they show is this one I mean, it's a cool concept for those who like this kind of stuff. I was just hoping Kingdom Hearts, like, the collection would come to Switch. Because this is coming to Switch, yes. But I was hoping more like, you get the Kingdom Hearts games coming to Switch, or Kingdom Hearts 3 is getting ported to Switch. I'm not going to lie, I played it a third time just so I have it on the go. Not going to doubt this game, though. The combos look sick. Like, the way they put the combos together with boss battles and stuff. That's cool. I've never been a fan of rhythm games though. This might be for a selective crowd, like a good friend of mine who plays a lot, a lot, a lot of rhythm games, but it's not for me though. Of course. Because they get you to buy it somehow. And this was filmed, if I remember, just yesterday. Today's the 27th, so yeah. So this is copyright the game. Because I don't know who's gonna play that, action. as far we'll as like you know YouTubers and stuff like that. Because that game will get you copyrighted in a minute, like a fucking heartbeat. And it's a it's a cool concept. It's kind of like the other game where you mix songs together. It's not for me. Two games from the Taiko no Tetsujin series make their way. Another the rhythm game. Is this all rhythm back. shit? That little drum was featured in Tekken Seven. Face off against an enemy and rhythmic foes. It's a cool little RPG rhythm concept, but that's the same thing with the Kingdom Hearts one. So. Like it comes with one and two. Y'all want me to play that? Seriously, do y'all want me to play that? Because I might play a Kingdom Hearts one just so I can see the, the shit I was missing. But I don't know if I should get it for PS. I don't know if I should get it for Switch. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I don't know if I should get it for Switch, to be completely honest. I mean, I do want that secret ending. I mean, I think I would just get the secret ending recorded or do a reaction on it. I don't know. I feel like I'm just wasting money on that. That's for something I don't like. Is this World of Tanks? Yeah, we brought World of Tanks to Switch. 
Nobody wanted it for fucking. Nobody wanted it for mobile, bro. Why the fuck we want it for Switch? It's an interesting concept, but. Hmm. Is it free to play? And win to become a boxing champion. Hold on, let's let me let me pause for a second. So you mean to tell me the Switch comes with a boxing game before PS4 or Xbox ever did? We're we're asking for a fight night, right? And I, I really I really want to touch upon this. Now we haven't had an NBA Street game in a while. We haven't we haven't had any street games for a while. We haven't had NBA Street. Well, we had NBA Street Home Court. I think there's NBA Ballers, which is supposed to be like the protege of it. So we have... Those games haven't come out for like since PS3 era. This is PS3, Xbox One. I think if I remember correctly, those games are only PlayStation exclusives at the time. So you mean to tell me that we haven't had NBA Street, or anything Street, I'm sorry. Anything Street related, like EA Big, because, you know, the company went underwater. I, I already know about all that. However, we didn't have any type of Street games. We haven't had a boxing game. Literally, the last boxing game was Fight Night Champion on PS3. I own it. That's why I'm like, it's been since the PS3 era. And that was around the end of the PS3 era when that game dropped. So the PS3 era ended around 2014, right? That's when the PS4 came out. So you mean to tell me it's been six years since we had a boxing game? Six years. Nintendo's already on top of getting a boxing game out. Now, I know, I know some people are going to look at me in the comments and go, oh, did you forget about Creed for the fucking PSVR? No, I didn't forget about Creed for the PSVR. The game's trash. And it's short as shit. That's not a, that's not a big boxing title. I'm sorry. I, anyway, we're not getting into that. But we haven't seen a Fight Night game in so long, but we're getting this Creed game for Switch. And it low-key looks fire. Like, low-key, I would play this because I like the way the combos are done and everything as a third-person boxer. I like the... Uh, well, you know what? No. Fucking Fight Night is a third-person boxer, technically, because it shows the two characters from the side, but it shows them close up, so they're kind of closer in. This is, like, kind of wide and range, more like a, a standard fighting game. So, but still, but still, this comes out before a new Fight Night comes out. Okay, we're gonna keep continuing, but I, I'm actually glad to hear something at least like this. This caught my attention. Fight as Rocky Balboa. Probably for all the wrong reasons. But. An entire roster of fighting legends from the Rocky and Creed franchises. Okay, so you get to play as everybody. Ivan and Victor Drago. You can play as Ivan, right? Local multiplayer is also available. Go head to head with friends in a now I think about it, I said Big Rumble Boxing. Is that the same guys who did Let's Get Ready to Are Ready to Rumble? Hmm. No. Nope. I hate that it's the old school style. Like people ask for that. They should remaster. They should have remastered it. It would have probably been a little bit better. I mean, it's cool, but come on, y'all, y'all. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ain't nobody playing just dance. <laughs> I read that rock band back, or fucking, what's it called, Guitar Hero, I'm kind of sick of Just Dance, I'm not even going to lie to you, it was fun for like, two years that I played it, not for me though, bro, oh, and this song that's playing, is that Dance Monkey song that you saw in the beginning, I had to cringe for a second, because, uh, that grandpa shouldn't have done that. But, uh, yeah, I had to change the music in the background. I'm not getting copyrighted, bro. Okay, but we're going to talk about Grandpa, <clears throat> who decided he was going to go ahead and just um, dab on him right right quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, that's cringy. Okay. Anywho. What is that dude doing? Is that Meek Mill? Hold on. Meek, what they got you doing out here, bro? Meek Mill out here doing fucking Just Dance commercials? That nigga really struggling. Yeah, please get past this already. I'm sick of this. The ultimate puzzle match returns. Puyo Puyo Tetris? This game is actually pretty fun. Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. 
Okay, yeah, number two on the way, huh? Ooh, okay, so that reminds me of, uh, Puyo Puyo and what's it called? Pocket Fighter, not Pocket Fighter, but, um, cast in a brand new story. I can't remember what the hell, it's the Street Fighter one. An expanded online the Street Fighter, the Capcom Fighter one. To four Puzzle Fighter. I may have to get this one. Because I didn't get the we first one. I played it, though. So My far. friend had it. For our final announcement, was it? we'll be taking a look at some games and downloadable content launching soon on Nintendo Switch. Okay, about to say that. Well, it is a mini. Fight the frost in the Minecraft Dungeons Creeping Winter DLC. Ooh. Brave all new missions and take I still need to play this, actually. I need to stream this. Because I got it on Game Pass for Xbox. And I really want to play this shit out of it. And discover new weapons, armor, and artifacts when this DLC makes Because I don't care that this is Minecraft. It, it looks fun. Like, they put a lot of aspect to, to fight it. A dangerous threat. I knew about Jump Force. Oh god, that is playing terribly on the Switch. Uh, you could have done it without previewing how bad the game looks. Oh. I'm usually not even a person to sit there and talk about graphics and shit. But this plays horribly on the Switch. Mm -mm. I still need to watch this anime. I don't think that's legal for two people to kick the same soccer ball, but it's anime. But I do, I, I do remember Crystal Chronicles is coming to the Switch. Oh, so it plays like an arena RPG. Okay. I never knew that. See, I didn't play Crystal Chronicles, and you can play with your friends, too. Okay. That concludes today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. Thank you for watching. We look forward to more Partner Showcase presentations. Okay, so I'm going to give my little evaluation of this. This mini direct wasn't bad. I'm not calling it terrible. I'm not going to say it's terrible, terrible. It's just, for me, this looked bad. Oh, God, this looks bad. Look at Just look at Luffy. Oh, it looks so terrible. At least it looked great on PS4 and Xbox One, but that looks terrible. Nobody cares about Just Dance. Why is Meek back? Look at Meek. You got Meek Mill over here just fucking... <sighs> This one, this Creed one, I may have to cop it. Hopefully it's not like some crazy price. It said it was out now, didn't it? No, let me see. One of them said they were... Oh, no, it's available spring 2021. Okay, so I got some time. I definitely want to look at that Creed one, though, since I haven't seen a freaking fight night in, like, the longest time. Well, the tank's not for me. I don't know. Y'all tell me, because it's the, it's the fucking... It's the two games in one. Plus, it looks kind of cute, and I like the little animation. Plus, the little drum guy was in Tekken 7 for a little bit, so um, he is still in Tekken 7. You can customize with him and stuff, so let me know what y'all think about that one. This one, this is copyright all over it. This is copyright, fuck your fuck your whole channel, I'll get it deleted. Not, I'm not doing that. I, I wouldn't do it anyway, because it's not my type of game. Kingdom Hearts Rhythm game, though. I'm thinking I should probably wait until other YouTubers have already got to the end, and that did that freaking that final story uh video and then we could do a reaction on that together how about that I, i'm gonna I'm settle on that because i'm not wasting money on this because i don't play rhythm games so i'm just gonna be honest with you i mean i'm sitting here being such a fucking hypocrite right now because i said i would play this one but it's only because i want to see what this little drum guy's about and he's it's kind of cute and it's an rpg well it's the same thing with kingdom hearts so see like i said i'm being a hypocrite i don't know We'll figure this out when we get there. But uh, that Creed game looks fire. That Jump Force looks trash. Puyo Puyo Tetris, for sure. Uh, the Minecraft one, I, I already have that on Xbox, so I'm probably going to just stream that uh, sometime down the road here. But um, this one, mm -mm. I need to get that off my screen, bro. That's, that's killing me. Let's get that off my screen. Let's not look at that. All right, y'all. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If there's anything that caught your interest, if you guys like rhythm games, I'm not even gonna not even gonna front you. That's you. Do your thing. I'm not gonna judge you for it. For me, it's not for me, bro. It's definitely not for me. Um, it's funny because this is this meme behind me with Gru. It kind of fits <laughs> dance fight. It kind of fits the just dance vibe kind of as well. So. Y'all tell me what you think. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate it, thumbs it down. And um, if you're new, please subscribe. Share this with your friends and family, all that good stuff. Um, that's about it I got for y'all. Oh, um, one other thing. Check my description box below. Um, I just partnered with a group. Um, it's called Lifestyles. And yeah, these guys are pretty cool. Um, they gave me a code. If you go to their website, which is the link's uh, down below, 
and you put in my uh, <clears throat> you put in my code Blackwater Jesus, all one word, uh, capitals. I don't know if they're really big in capitals or not, but yeah, just Blackwater Jesus gets you 15% off. They do um, have energy drinks, like the energy supplement drinks. It's like it's like a it's like the uh, what do we call them? It's like the creatine stuff. You mix it, you know, everything like that. But it's for energy, so like it's directed towards gamers and athletes alike to give you that energy that you need to keep yourself boosted, keep yourself going, things like that. And they also have energy gummies and energy vitamins. If I remember like a vitamin thing, the vitamins are a little pricey, but it's supposed to be made to give you that pep in your step and to keep you like agile and keep you moving. So it's kind of a good little healthy thing to do to get yourself, you know, get your brain muscles and get your brain working and everything like that. And um, so yeah, please do if you guys can check that link in the description and use my code. It does help support your boy, everything like that. Will I consider this a sponsored video? Not really, because I didn't have anything ready, <laughs> like a script or anything. I'm kind of just winging it right now. But uh, help your boy out, you know, support your boy. Um, we trying to get to, what I say? thousand fucking subscribers by the end of this year so let's go ahead and keep it rolling let's keep the ball rolling i want y'all to go out there share this with your friends and family uh subscribe if you're new everything like that and um i hope you guys are enjoying this journey you know i still got some gameplays i need to get out and uh we'll make sure to do so this has been your boy blackwire jesus i'm out y'all peace